Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Manchester United 3, Reading 1. We move on to the next round. Make that 10 home wins in the row now for Man United. It was a night for the Brazilians. I mean, as Casemiro and Fred got on the score sheets, uh, United obviously scored three goals. Casemiro with two goals and Fred scored the third goal. Anthony did not get on the score sheet, but he was, I think, United's standout player in my opinion he was he, he did set up the goal for the first uh, for the first goal and he was causing lots of problem for reading throughout the night um obviously reading uh their their job got really really difficult when they got a, a man sent off carol has been sent off in the second half and after that they i think they struggled to keep manchester united from creating uh lots of chance all in all, though, United just wanted to win this game and go through to the next round. They did not want to play a replay. We didn't want no replay in this one. It looked like it was going to be a draw in the first half because it was nil-nil. But second half, we just broke the deadlock through Casemiro. And after that, I think the game was pretty much easy, easy peasy. But let's just quickly go into the players rating. Uh, before I do that, make sure to... Hit that like button on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let's just quickly take a look at uh players rating so we could just start off with the david de Gea. i think david de Gea, uh he did okay 3.6.3 they say i don't know uh i think he's done enough to get at least an average point six is about right he wasn't called up on on a lot of shots i think he had one save in the first half which could have got wrong. I mean, Malasia back post was just sleeping and uh, David De Gea had to make a big save on that. But other than that, I don't I don't recall any 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 save from David De Gea and you can't blame him for the goal as well. So 6.3 is about right. Wan Basaka, he linked up a few times with Anthony as United uh, basically drove through for, uh, forward for that breakthrough, uh, breakthrough goal. Uh, he moved into midfield at times and in, uh, in a, uh, one of his moments basically was creating a, a, an overlap run for Anthony. And, for, and we could have gotten a goal uh, in the first half. And all in all, I think wan was decent. wan was really decent in this match. 6.9, maybe 7 uh, might be, might be the, the correct rating. Um... Victor Lindelof. So Victor Lindelof, he moved to the left on the uh, on the defense to accommodate Harry Maguire, and he did little wrong in this game. Relatively unchallenging night, to be honest. Seven out of ten is about right. Uh, Terrell Malasia, I I mentioned earlier, he caught napping in the back post in the first half, and we could have conceded a goal um, in the first half. David De Gea had to make a save. Uh, he struggled. I think it could have cost us on another night. I would give him maybe 5.5, 6, maybe, maybe, maybe. But I think uh, he didn't offer anything up front in the attacking third as well. So Malasia needs to improve. Uh, Casabero, maybe man of the match contender. Man of the match contender. I think it's between Casabero and Anthony for me, man of the match. Uh, we'll have to make a decision uh, at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But Casemiro, I thought he did really well. Positive with his passing. He had a decent shot on goal and he scored an amazing goal in the first half. I mean, in the second half, that first goal is just incredible. He just finished that ball like a striker. I mean, it's an incredible finish, incredible finish. And the second goal, I think, uh, taken from outside the box, that ball probably got deflected. I haven't watched the replay, but I think it got deflected. But it doesn't matter. It still went in. Incredible shot and incredible goal. Two massive goals from a CDM. I mean, we're talking about a CDM here. We're not talking about attacking midfielders. We're not talking about Bruno here. That's Casemiro. He's, he's there to protect the back four. But somehow, he's actually helping us in the final third, which is a massive, massive boost. Uh, for Man United. Uh, so 9 out of 10, probably right. I would have to agree, Ericsson. 
he was actually denied a certain goal uh, in the first half. He struggled to breach Reading's uh, defense. He came off early in the second half. Average performance performance from Ericsson, 6 out of 10 for me. Uh, Anthony, the most creative United's forward in the first half. He played Casemiro in for that breaking breakthrough goal. Um, uh, in the second one, and he capped a good week. I think uh, Reading just struggled to contain Anthony from the get go. Anthony was just flying in the game, and I think he should continue to be selected. And I hope he continues this form. I know he could have gotten on the score sheet today, and he didn't. But I think he should be selected for the next game. I think the performance has improved uh, from last game. Bruno Fernandez. Uh, 7.9. Another sloppy performance, in my opinion. Bruno Fernandez. His decision making in the final third was often dreadful. Still crossed uh, for Fred's uh, goal to score uh, for that third goal. But all in all, you see Bruno taking shots when he needs to be passing. And you see Bruno passing when he needs to be taking shots. So I think decision making needs to improve on Bruno Fernandez. 7.9. I wouldn't go that far. I'd probably give him 7. Rashford. He thought he had a goal in that first half to put us 1-0 up. But Wickhorse had stayed offside, they said. I mean, look. It's a huge debate. It's a huge debate. Is it offside? Is it onside? For me, I thought he was offside. Because Wickhorse was in an offside position. Yes, the defender touched the ball, but... Even if he touches the ball, he's touching the ball because he's trying to stop a United player getting the ball. So I think he's offside. I think he's offside. Uh, but performance-wise, Marcus Rashford, 68 minutes in, he got subbed out. 7 out of 10, might be right. Uh, 6.5 would also be good or would also be fair, in my opinion. Workhorse, look, uh, I don't like this striker. I mean, he stayed offside, like I said. When Casemiro deflected the cross, uh, pass looped uh, into the orbit for his assist for Marcus Rashford goal. But other than that, I haven't seen him really do anything. I don't think he offers us a lot as a number nine. I think he should do more. I think uh, as a striker, you shouldn't be just focusing on pressing. You need to be doing more than just pressing. And that needs to improve on web host. Six for me, six out of ten. And this is not the first game he's done it against Crystal Palace. Ever since he joined, I have not been impressed with him. I know, I know he scored last game, but it doesn't matter for me. The performance needs to be a lot better. He needs to give us more uh, up front. Uh, and I'm, I'm disappointed with him, Weghorst. Okay, let's let's just quickly cover the, uh, the subs. So the subs are obviously um, Fred. Came on, scored in the second half. He did give us uh, uh, energy in the second half. Um, what else we have? Alejandro Garnacho. Garnacho also did really well. He came on, he took on uh, a player, but all in all, I don't remember him doing anything wrong in the match. He did okay. Uh, he was very uh, energetic, should I say. Facundo, Facundo Pelschi. Some bright moments. In that second half, 6 out of 10 for me is about right. Anthony Langa also got some minutes today. Um, he's probably going to be loaned out. I don't know. I don't know if Eric Ten Hag wants to keep him. He might be loaned out, but um, he did get some minutes under his belt in this match. Um, Kobe Mano, another appearance, uh, appearance for him. I think he's gonna be satisfied the fact that he 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 he, he got on the uh, on the pitch, um, but that is it, guys. That is my match reaction. I think I covered every single player. My man of the match, I would have to give it to Casemiro. I mean, two goals. It's between Casemiro and Anthony, but I would I would have to go with Casemiro. Casemiro deserves it for me. That goal, that first half goal, just shuts us up uh, to go ahead and win this game three one. So I'm happy with I'm happy with Casemiro and I think he deserves it. But that is it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And that is it. I am out, guys. Peace. Let's go, United.
Let's go. Let's go.